Hi, I'm Bob Coates of Bob Coates Photography and I'd like to share some tips, tricks, and techniques of supporting your camera when doing wildlife and um, landscape photography. Um, I was one of those guys that used to just take my tripod along with me and then leave it in the car because I thought, eh, I don't want to deal with that. So um, not too awful long ago when I started doing more wildlife and more uh, landscape photography, that all changed. I started making sure that I had some kind of camera support with me all the time and my image quality went up. That brings me to my favorite wildlife tripod. Okay, so the reason it is, okay, number one, the legs themselves. I'm also a photo pro um, ambassador. Um, they liked my work and said, hey, Bob, you want to become an ambassador? And I said, yeah, because I really, really like the tripods. These uh, legs that they have on their tripods are extremely durable. They have no metal parts, so that makes them waterproof and it makes them also dust and uh, sand proof. So you can just stick these in the stream and yeah, they'll get some water in them, but they're not going to rust ultimately, which is awesome. Uh, that's part of what's really nice. These are very light. I think the whole tripod weighs a little over five pounds, um, but it's very stiff, very stiff. I've, you know, uh, again, I'm on the Micro Four Thirds. They have other ones with bigger heads, etc. cetera. Um, Photo Pro USA does a really nice job. So the biggest part of this is the head. Now the head is really, really designed for wildlife. So once you have your stick set up, having your head level is really important, especially when you're doing panorama photos. Well, there's a little uh, level little bubble level right in the center there. There's one knob and you can see that very quickly it's got a little ball that it floats around in. So we can look inside there and right at that spot right there just do one little twist and the head is level. So that's wonderful. Um, the next part is that this is a gimbal head as well. Right in there. Here we go. So once we, let's see where it is. Okay, so it sits really nice there, so we'll lock it down. And now, look at, I can let go and it gently moves or doesn't move. And I can, cre I can again, adjust the tension on that. I can also adjust the tension on how it moves around in this position, which is quite nice. So now you have you're up and down and you have your back and forth and this is just smooth as silk. Uh, there's also a handle you can add on here if you do video. Um, you can use this as a fluid head. That's how smooth um, this stuff was engineered. So we can lock that down if we want or we can just let it be a little bit loose and be able to really follow, follow our birds. So we can totally lock this down if we wanted to use a uh, panorama head and rotate that around if we'd like. Um, the other nice part about this is that in addition to having this control, which you know controls the amount of fluidity that's there, there's also a second control that you can dial in just a little bit that gives you click stops. So when you're doing panoramas, having those click stops available makes it easy for you to overlap your settings exactly the way you want. And of course, there's a little scale that goes around here. Um, let's see, there's one more thing that's pretty awesome. So this, this will also come undone. And one thing that um, I found is also really nice is that the way this is manufactured, you can undo it, but I can't get it undone. There's a little button inside the uh, release so that you can't undo it unless you have pushed that button in. So that to me is a really nice safety feature. When I first started using it, I thought, mm, I'm not so happy about that because it was, you know, it was a bit of a pain in the butt until you got used to it. Um, but after it saved me from dropping my camera and lens a couple of times, I was like, Okay, that's a good feature. Um, last but not least is that the camera can be pointed 
uh, oops, wrong one. We'll lock this one down. The camera can be pointed directly down, which is pretty darn cool. Uh, let's straighten it out just a little bit. There it is, perfectly straight down. And then it can also, which is uh, another, another feature, is it can go straight up as well. So the fact that this camera can point straight down, straight up, be a gimbal, um, it's, uh, the, the manufacturing on this is just absolutely exquisite. Um, everything, it's got a guarantee for five years. Anyway, I'm real happy with that one there. Let's see, is there anything else I wanted to share with you? Nope, I think that'll do it. Um, being able to uh, really support your camera in a nice way can end up helping you get much better images ultimately. Hopefully some of these ideas were helpful for you. You have a great one. I'm Bob Coates from Successful-Photographer.com. I have an awful lot of tripod plates, or yeah, tripod plates. And the idea for that is, for the longest time, I'd be switching these out and moving from lens to lens or from camera to lens, and it just used to make me crazy. And I was like, dude, buy a couple more tripod plates. So I have a, a bunch of these long ones. Um, another tripod plate, as long as we're talking about plates, is uh, being able to mount your camera horizontally or vertically using the same thing. So this is called an L bracket. Um, there's some really expensive ones from uh, Really Right Stuff. And st this particular one is from Geek Odo, G-E-E-K-O-T-O. -E -E it's uh, really inexpensive and it's really nice to be able to maneuver your camera from the horizontal to the vertical position quite easily. So having one of these in your kit is pretty darn awesome.